Hello friends, good evening. Today I am going to cover a very interesting topic, very much needed functionality, which is now available with Odoo version 18. That is work in progress manufacturing accounting entry. So you can see on my screen, I have enabled and click on the widget where I can pass WIP accounting entry. And then you can see three accounts and its counterpart entry how exactly it will work let's see that so what i am going to do is i have created one bill of material that is called finished goods with raw material one and two and then i have defined two operations that is work center one base operation which will run for 10 minutes and then in work center one i have defined work center cost account which will you know calculate my work center cost during and uh, finishing of uh, the entire manufacturing order and then $10 per work center and $10 per employee employee cost will not be count because I am uh, you're not connecting any employee over here and then work center 2 is again $60 per work center uh, for that and this will run for 20 minutes so ideally when i see my bom overview for this particular finished good item the raw material one and raw material two will cost ten dollar or uh, ten rupees each and then here work center one ideally uh, run for 10 uh, you know minutes which will generate 3.33 out of you know entire calculation and 20 minutes which will become you know uh, 40 because uh, my cost was here if I see again, it will run for 20 minutes and work center cost was 60 for an hour. Okay. And uh, then work center one that is going to work for 10 minutes and then 10 uh, rupees per hour is the work center cost. And then operation one runs for, let's say if I increase to 60 minutes, then in my BOM overview, it will show 60 all right and then it will calculate t20 rupees which is coming from you know uh, that 60 from here 10 per work center and 10 per employee and then in my operation 2 it's 40 so 40 is coming from 60 and 60 over here if i make it zero the operation 2 will show me only 20. so employee cost is also coming now uh, which was not coming previously so i keep it both 60 60 over here and uh, that's how i have set up my you know accounting parts and its respective entries let me create 10 per work center and 10 per employee and it will run for entire r so that's how my BOM is set up and then when I check my availability, I have full availability of both the raw materials with its respective cost. And then all my, you know, finished goods, we can see the cost is already updated. Now let's release one uh, order and before that, let me show my ledger positions with posted entries so i have everything set up and then i will pass a new mo and then we will monitor how it impacts our accounting counterpart so let's start and release one order for my finished goods with one item and then this will be work order i just confirm this and then this will be now in the planning state and then over my general ledger there will be no impact for this mo anywhere like mo2 you can see mo1 is there its impacts are there over here let me increase the screen size so mo1 is always there mo2 is now nowhere now as soon as i you know click here i will get post wip accounting entry right now you can see there is no valuation layer is impacted over here and then as soon as I see and mark this is as a consumed, I save this and I click on post WIP entry. You can see inventory is credited by 10 rupees because for this particular raw material, it was 10 rupees. Now, as soon as I come here and then 
start this particular progress and then maybe done with this progress and then update my hours let's say it works for 60 minutes so now if i pass wip entry you can see the wip production account is hit by 30 and 20 is credited for components because as soon as i start this both the component are consumed now so for inventory 20 and then rest for one particular work center it was post wip overhead 10. so how it comes wip overhead and wip production let's see that in background so in odoo accounting in configuration you will see those properties if i search for wip account you have to configure wip account like wip production account and wip overhead account over here and then in uh, automated accounting setting you also need to do production costing account so all these accounts are set up now and let's move to our manufacturing order again which is still in running and let's see the post wip account so now if i post this entry it will create a ledger uh, journal entry and then it will create automatic reversal entry because for accountant for any production or finance or anyone they have to see how much stock how much you know in progress costing are there in their production unit that's how we can create this general entry now as let before i pass that let me start and you know done with this also let's say i run it for only 10 minutes so it will reduce the overall cost and then you can see 40 only compared to 20 earlier so wip overhead uh, is registered here with 20 inventory consumed 20 and wip production is going to hit 40 debit against this so now i will pass this post wip entry and then let's see our ledger balance how it impacts over here and let's focus on WIP entry where my component has been you know registered here for 20 credit because it was consumed and then production post account it is nowhere there because I haven't done my production but the counterpart are divided into two account WIP production and WIP overheads you can see 40 is production cost total and then WIP overhead is registered with 20 and rest counterpart will be you know work center cost uh, will be done when i finish my job okay so now you can see wip 20 has been done with against wip uh, against the inventory 20 and 40 is my wip production like work in progress production cost so this is how odoo has divided in real time to manage your real accounting now as soon as I finish this order, Odoo will generate the counterpart entries. So then how it looked like when I am done with my production order and let's check it out. So the finished good will come out with 40 rupees which is you know my finished goods and then you can see raw material 1 and 2 cost are registered now against DMO. This WIP was a different entry 20 and then its counterpart is already over here with stop general and then now you can see labor is also registered with 20 which was my uh, employee cost over that order and then my work center cost has been allocated for 20 rupees which was my original work center cost hence Odoo has done all the entry respectively for that and then when I open my draft entries Odoo has already planned to reverse those WIP account settlement. So that's the very good part. So you don't need to worry whatever WIP account temporary interim co uh, posting has been done. Odoo will automatically reverse on the next day. So you can see reversal is already planned for MO1 and MO2 with 2020 over here, respective rupees. And then WIP production will be 31 for earlier and 40 for this recent orders and this you know 20 over here and that's how Odoo will uh, create the counterpart entry very 
smoothly with this i have seen many different different third party modules i appreciate those uh, development in previous version but now odoo version 18 is coming up with a lot of improvements and this is one such improvement which was asked by many of uh, the clients which i was you know interacting in past so thank you very much odoo thank you very much all the partners uh, for bringing this feature in previous versions so hope now you guys are very much clear how to use this wip account uh, during your production order by manually passing from here the action button you will see post wip account okay so thank you very much everyone for watching this video i will keep sharing knowledge uh, in coming videos with uh, the new feature untouched feature which are you know available with Uru version 18 thank you guys